In order to animate a layer, we have to select it and then convert it to a symbol. I'm going to choose Modify, Convert to Symbol. Make sure Movie Clip is selected, and then give it a name. Now, we have not defined the length of our composition yet, so I can't move my playhead. I'm going to jump up here to the 100 frame mark, click and drag to select the frames, and then choose right click, insert frame. Now I can move my playhead. At the 40 frame mark, I'm going to set a keyframe on the trees layer by right clicking and choosing insert keyframe. Now I have two keyframes, the one that was created by default at the very beginning and the one at 40 frames. With the playhead on the second keyframe, I can then adjust my layer and then select anywhere between my two keyframes, right click and choose classic tween. Now I have a smooth transition between the two keyframes. Let's see that again. Let's do the mountain layer this time. On the 40th frame, I will right click and insert a keyframe. In between the two, I will right click and choose classic tween. With the playhead at the 40th frame, I can then move my mountain layer. I'm going to select the mountain layer and then just use my arrow keys to move it. Let's see that again. We'll do that with the sky this time. I'm going to insert a keyframe on the 40th frame. I'm just going to use my arrow key to move the sky just a little bit. Right click in between the first frame and the 40th frame and select Classic Tween. Let's preview and there you go. Next let's save the composition. File, Save and simply give it a name. Now let's add some text to our composition. We're going to animate this text and also make it a web link. So I'm going to move my playhead over to the 40 frame mark again. Put it right on top of those other keyframes. Here's where I want the text to come in. I need to create a new layer. I'll move that layer to the top of the stack and we'll name it text. To add text, I go over to my toolbar and select the T for text tool. From there, I can simply drag out an area and type in some text in the text box. I'm going to type in mountainproject.com. That's probably a real website, but I'm just pretending that it's the name of our project for demonstration purposes. If I select the selection tool now, I can move this text around and also change its color. We'll make it white so it shows up with the black background. I don't need such a long text box, so I'm going to go ahead and shorten it. Let's preview by going to Control and Test. And there you have it. Our text is now in our composition.